Hey everyone, it's Kevin P. McAuliffe here, and here is a fantastic quick tip for all of you media composer and symphony editors using the fantastic Rampant Design Tools elements. You'll remember in my little introduction on how to use them, I talked about using transfer modes or blend modes inside of Media Composer or Symphony, and that you'd need to use a third-party application like Avid Effects, which comes with your Media Composer purchase, or Boris Continuum Complete 8, which comes with your Symphony purchase. But I wanted to show you a quick way of using these elements without having to go back to them each time you use them and customize them, depending on the element that you're working with. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to Alt-Tab into Media Composer 7, obviously Command and Tab for all of my Mac friends out there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open the clips bin and let's take my video clip here and I'm just going to select the entire clip and hit B on the keyboard to drop it into my timeline. Control and Y on Windows, Command and Y on the Mac to create a new video layer. And let's just drop in the fantastic dust effects, cinematic dust effects. I'm just going to hit T on the keyboard and B to drop that in. Now I'll just use Symphony as the example here. What we're going to do is open up the effects palette, Control and 8. We're going to navigate up to the Boris Consume Complete Effects. We're going to go to Key and Blend, and I'm going to come to Composite. Now you'll remember I said that the easiest way to get in and use this element was to simply step into Effects Mode and change the Apply Mode to something like Add. But the problem is that every time you want to use the effect, you keep having to go in, go in, adjust it from Mix From to, you know, uh, Hard Light to Add, and so on and so on. But there's actually a faster way to do this. You don't need to go through that process every time. What I normally like to do is create a new bin, and I, I like to call it Effects. And what I like to do with this bin called effects is simply take, in this case, the additive blend mode, and I'm just going to drag it right out of the effects window and drop it into my bin, and I'm going to call this add blend mode. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come to the film element here that I have, and again, T and the keyboard on both Mac and Windows, we'll just step out of effects mode, we'll just drop this into my timeline here, there we go, it's a little bit longer than what we need, but that's okay, we can just trim it off. And what we're going to do again, exactly the same thing, Control and 8 on Windows, Command and 8 on the Mac, Composite, let's drag and drop it. And of course, Shift and Y to step into effects mode, and I want to change this from hard light to B multiply. Ah, not darken, multiply, there we go. And what we're going to do again is exactly the same thing. I'm going to take this uh, composite effect, drag it right out into my bin, and we're going to call this multiply blend mode. Now the best part about doing this and having a bin called effects is that if I actually take this clip and remove it and say, okay, you know what, I think I'm going to go back to this uh, cinematic dust effect here. Let's take it, let's drop it into my timeline. Oh, well, guess what? I don't need to go back into the effects palette, find the effect, drop it on, change the transfer mode, etc., etc. All I have to do is take the effect right from my bin, drag it and drop it, and you're all set to go. So I hope this quick tip shows you how you can really get in and exponentially speed up your workflow using these fantastic Rampant Design Tools elements. So if you have any questions, you have any comments, or you have any tutorial requests, head on over and post them in the Rampant Design Tools forums. This has been Kevin P. McAuliffe. Thanks a lot for watching.